Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Aurel Jackson, and I am working with our fabulous Walk Headquarters team um, to promote this um, Walk Challenge, which is our first virtual Walk Challenge, but our second Walk Challenge. And um, wanted to thank all of you for being with us today um, and for supporting this event. Um, we've been overwhelmed by your enthusiasm and your support and your encouragement. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank a few people. First of all, the board members of Walk With The Dark um, for their support and their encouragement um, and their participation. I want to do a shout out to the Racery team who've been just great. And if you guys haven't downloaded the Racery app, I would suggest you do that so that you can log your activity and join in the conversation as you um, move through, as we move along this adventure. And then I wanted to thank the uh, sponsors. We've been very grateful to have the sponsorship of AARP, Walk Productions, All Trails and Fleet Feet. And um, then I just want to thank my fellow team members, um, Rachel and Brian and, uh, and David, um, just been a real pleasure working with you on this project. And I look forward to this tremendous journey with all of you. And um, so I'm going to stop talking now and let our sponsor um, from AARP have a few words. And that um, you know, I wanted to welcome Sean Hightower from AARP. We're going to switch to a video that Sean did for us and um, just hear what they think about this important partnership that we have. So here we go. Welcome. On behalf of AARP, we are proud to be a part of the Walk with a Doc Kilimanjaro Walk Challenge. As an everyday innovator in aging and the nation's largest nonprofit, nonpartisan organization dedicated to empowering people 50 and older to choose how they live as they age, AARP is committed to supporting the needs of older adults and their families. We believe it is never too late to build healthy habits. And this is why we are proud to support the Walk with a Doc Kilimanjaro Walk Challenge. Walking is perhaps one of the easiest ways to maintain a healthy lifestyle because you can do it at your own pace in an environment that works for you. It's also a great way to connect with family and friends. And even more important than that, it just makes you feel better. The Walk with a Doc program has an added benefit though. Helpful medical tips from a medical professional who's walking right with you. Now, from a personal perspective, I've been walking for nearly two months thanks to the support from the Walk with a Doc program. It has been so incredibly helpful to me and I can't thank them enough for their continued support and encouragement. And I promise you, I will continue to keep walking. I now have the pleasure of introducing Dr. David Sapker, who is the founder, CEO, board president, and cardiologist for Walk with a Doc. Dr. Sapker is a true believer in meeting people where they are which is why he invited patients to go for a walk in the park with him in a local park nearly 15 years ago and has been inspiring communities through movement and conversation ever since. Today in the U.S., there are 530 Walk with the Doc chapters in 47 states and in 34 countries. No wonder Dr. Sapker was featured as a CNN hero for the extraordinary impact that he has had fostering healthy lifestyles in communities both in and outside of the U.S. I'd like to ask you now to please join me in welcoming Dr. David Sacker. Thank you very much and I will see you in Kilimanjaro. Take care. Thank you, Sean. Um, we are so honored to partner with AARP. Um, David Sabger and then Ryan Romy is our incredible teammate. We have, we have three teammates I would like to introduce. Um, you met Aurel, uh, our newest teammate, super uh, 
awesome. You can already tell how great she is. Brian Romy is our international program launcher. So thank you guys so much. The, the funding helps launch these and get, get the message out around the world. Brian does that and then also met incredible she is and makes it work. So that's the band. And then my chief supporting officer is over here and Chrissy, my wife. So, um, and Brian and I are coming to you today from New Albany, Ohio, which is a Northeast suburb of Columbus, right in the middle of Ohio. And um, we're super excited to be doing this. And I have a lot of stuff I wanna share. I'm a little nervous because I don't wanna talk forever because I know you guys are anxious to get on the mountain, but there's so much I wanna share. Um, the most important thing is, um, well, I wanted to say hi without a mask. I'm more than six feet away from Brian now, but I wanna put a mask on because I'm going to be um, closer than six feet from Brian. Um, so I wanna make sure Brian's protected. Um, um, but thank you. That is the thing I wanna say the most. Your support of what Walk With A Doc is doing like Sean mentioned in the US and even 35 other countries is making a massive difference. And the reason is um, what, let me, so I hope you know how grateful we are. I wanna share, because a few of you, if not a lot of you don't know what Walk With A Doc is. So let me share real quickly why we started Walk With A Doc. Um, I was noticing as a resident and a fellow at Ohio State when I was training that I had kind of two sets of patients. I had one set of patients that was doing so well in their 80s, 90s, and even past 100. And what was very obvious is those patients were walking on most days or doing some type of physical activity. And it really smacks you right in the face as that is the fountain of youth. And then I have other patients that were not getting the benefits of regular physical activity. And there are some people that can't get those benefits. They're limited for whatever reason, but most people when, when I would ask them about what they're doing for walking or other things, um, just said, well, I'm not really doing anything right now now, but they can. So my, I wanted to dedicate my whole career really to, yes, being a cardiologist, but also taking that second group and turning them into the first group. And all of us are doing that together through Walk With A Doc. And um, I couldn't be more excited about it. I, I just love what you're doing for this. So that's how Walk With A Doc was started in 2005. And now um, we're all just doing really well and we're all in Kilimanjaro, which is just fantastic. Um, I want to thank also our base camp. Doc Are you guys okay if we walk a little? We'll walk a little. Um, Cause I'm trying to get steps to beat Rachel. Rachel is <laughs> stupid competitive. Don't let anything she says fool you. So I am on my game already right now. You can see my feet because I have one target over the next 15 days and that's Rachel Habash. So um, I'm already logging steps towards that. I want to thank our doctors. We've got 14 videos coming up over the next 15 days of the challenge and we call them base camp videos. And they're doctors that have, we've already seen them. They're incredible videos that are going to serve to inspire us as we trek up the mountain, wherever our mountain is. Um, so thank you, docs, it's huge. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the challenge. So Walk With A Doc was built to start increased physical activity, as I said, but what we fell into was the importance of social connection. Um, it, 
just was very obvious from the first day how important that was. And I knew as a physician, the data was really supportive. So back forever ago, I would tell um, our patients, I would ask them if they were like in bowling groups, involved in their church, in quilting groups, because the data shows that those patients live a lot longer and do a lot better. And of course they're happier. Well, we got so lucky that Walk With The Doc was able to provide that social connection. Um, so that's a huge part of this. It's physical activity, social connection, and all be, being there for each other. And this year, social connection sucks. Um, you didn't hear that, it sucks. <laughs> In 2020, it just hasn't been as good. But we have found that through racery, which has been great, so we can really connect during our journey up Kilimanjaro and all activity counts. So if it's archery or badminton or dance parties, you can log into the app, whatever activity you're doing and it counts. So we've got 44 miles that we're gonna try and do over the next 15 days that works out for the math people in the group, a little less than three miles a day, which is a pretty good amount. So that could be walking for close to an hour every day. But we found that this is the fountain of youth. This is it. Um, so if we found the fountain of youth, I feel that's more than half the battle. So we can do this and it's just being very simple, being very regular with our activities, forming these good habits. And it's just so good for us and it makes us feel good. It's the answer. So we're all of us, Brian, Rachel, Arell and I are trying to make that happen. Um, the other thing we wanna make very, very clear is we are here for you. So through racery, through email, through phone, I would say fax, but I don't think we have a fax. Smoke signals, we do have smoke signals. Whatever we can do, we're here for you. We wanna support you. You're supporting us um, through your messages. So let's be active on that um, chat board. Um, I'm gonna be talking a lot of trash to Rachel as I beat her up the mountain and I'm gonna be supporting the other people um, because I, it's just so fun. Racery did a great job. We are here for you 24 seven um, for the next 15 days. And after that, honestly, um, we love you guys and you put us where we are. Um, I do wanna do a shout out to Catherine Jeter who um, climbed Kilimanjaro and summited on her 75th birthday. She is on the chat right now. I know I saw your beautiful face, Catherine. So Catherine is um, in uh, Tryon Estates. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but Catherine recruited 31 people um, who are all on the mountain with us. And um, she also brought us Daniel, a Kilimanjaro guide who is, um, is so cool. He's on the journey with us. He's sharing videos from Kilimanjaro and oh, just awesome. So thank you, Catherine. Um, I also don't want to talk for days, which Rachel, Brian, and Arell know I can do. So I'd be open. Brian's nodding his head. Um, I'd be open or I want uh, any questions and we can provide the best answers we can. I do one more piece of advice. If you can walk with a friend, it's all the better. Um, it just seems to go like two, three times as fast and it's so much more rewarding. So grab a friend and save their life and bring them out there with you. And I will shut up, I'm done now, but I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be with you guys today. Um, how'd I do Rachel? He's stretching now, He's ready to walk.
delivered as always. Thank you very much, Dr. David. Um, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, he, he opened it up for questions. Please unmute your mic if you want, ask him any doctor-like questions you want or where he got his keen sense of humor, anything you want, it's free reign. And for the rest of you who are eager to get out there and log your steps, please don't let us hold you back. Um, thank you for being a part of this. Uh, we, uh, we um, again, open for questions. And if anyone has tech questions, I'm gonna hang around after everyone sign, starts to sign off and I'm happy to answer those two for you. So if there are any questions, fire away. Hi, Rachel, can you hear me? This is Kay. Kay, I can hear you. Hi, I am, I am in Atlanta and I work for AARP Georgia. I just wanted to do a shout out and say thank you so much for inviting us. We're really excited. Um, Carolyn Hartfield is on the um, Zoom call with me and she start, <clears throat> excuse me, and she started our Walk with the Doc Atlanta. Um, and she's a health coach. She's not an MD and was able to, to do it here. And so we wanted to connect with everybody as well as be part of this challenge. So I just wanted to say good morning. We're excited and um, up for the challenge. Thank you. No doubt, if you're in um, Carol's company, um, Carolyn Hartfield's company, we know you're up for the challenge. She is a rock star. I'm glad that you're here, Carolyn, and thanks for saying something, Kay. You're welcome. Rachel, I've got something to say. Go ahead, Dr. Ravi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, all the participants. Good morning, Rachel, Brian, and David. You are an amazing person who has put up together this walk for the last 15 years. You have done such a great job for the rest of the humanity. You don't realize what you have done, but I tell you, my patients who walk with me, they are so grateful to you, directly or indirectly, for taking away their walkers and their wheelchairs and prolonging their healthy life. They are so grateful for the walk with the dog. I just wanted to let everybody know what tremendous difference it is making and it has made so far. And I have been walking with my patient for the last eight, seven years now. Thank you very much, David, Rachel, and Brian, and please keep doing and keep encouraging everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kumar. I really appreciate you speaking up. Can I say something? Rachel, can I say something? Do we have a choice? No. <laughs> um, so Carolyn Hartfield, I love you. I, we haven't met, but I love you. I love everything you've done for us. And I'm taking my mask off. Brian's more than six feet away because I want you to see how happy you make me. Thank you. And the same goes to you, Dr. Ravi um, from Central California. Um, you're the best. Um, I'll send you the check for everything you just said. Uh, it's very kind and we're not deserving. We're so grateful to be able to work with you. And um, Carolyn, one more time, I love you. I love you. Sorry, honey. Um, I have a question. Thank you, Brian. This is Carolyn. I love all of you guys too. Um, we're still going strong here and so happy to be a part of the Kilimanjaro uh, walk. And I just like to throw in and really congratulate Ms. Jeter for actually climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. I was considering doing that for my 73rd birthday, which will be next year. Um, but in the meantime, I just like to say that for my birthday this year, we walked the Silver Comet Trail and that's actually 61.5 miles. So yay for walking. Thank you. Yeah, Carolyn Hartfield, you walked the Silver Comet? 
we have cycled it, but I would, it would never have occurred to me to walk it. <laughs> yes, I walked it with uh, my buddy, Teresa Hall. She can't be with us right now, but she's going to be doing the Kilimanjaro challenge with me. Well, I hope you'll really go up the mountain. I, I, I would just tell you that when you go up that mountain and you get to the top, you'll know at the summit that there isn't anything in front of you that you will not be able to face head on from then on for the rest of your life. Catherine, I'm going to send you my contact information because I'd like to talk to you about that, okay? Please do. Thank you, everybody. I think there was, some, there was a question someone had. I'm not sure who it was. Sorry, I can't see everybody on my, my screen. It was Nora Davis who had the question. Oh, Nora, let's have it. Uh, Nora, you're muted. Um, uh, there you go. Okay. Um, how many people are signed up total for this uh, Kilimanjaro walk? Before we logged into this call, there were 408 people signed up to, to take this journey with us. Wow. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for being one of them. Thanks for being here with us. Any other questions from anyone? Can you hear me? I can hear somebody. I don't know who me is, but I can hear you. Me is your mother. Oh, my oh. mom. <laughs> can, you, house. can you still sign up for the walk if I can uh, keep bugging people or is it too late? You keep bugging people, mom. You do you, do you keep bugging them. Anyone can join anytime throughout this challenge. You can, you can um, just so you guys know from a tech tech standpoint you can log miles starting today some of you already have um if you miss a day that's okay you can go back in time and log those miles so if you join us nine days from now and you want to still log your 44 miles you can certainly do that all go right go, Mom. Hey, Mary and Jeff, how are you? Um, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, we've got uh, Leslie Sansone is on the mountain with us and Leslie has sold millions of videos on walking. She, her name on the mountain is the Walk Coach and Walk Productions, her company is one of our sponsors and they have been, Leslie and Marie and others have been very supportive of us, supportive of us for years. So thank you, Walk Productions, for being here and for being a walk coach on the mountain. We've got arguably the best walk coach in the world with us in Tanzania. So that's super cool. And that's what I got. Okay. Someone once told me to sit with the awkward silence. So I'm just sitting with it right now. I am gonna hang out um, just to answer any questions. Again, if there's any tech questions you guys have. Um, one last call for questions for David. Um, he's, a, he's a funny cardiologist, so you can ask for a joke, any medical questions you might have. Um, if nothing else, we'll let you guys go log those miles and we'll watch your avatars on the, the Racery app. Oh, I got a question in the, the question in the group. Someone asked, when do we get to meet Daniel? Um, thank you for asking that question. Aurel can probably speak to the technology woes better than I can. Um, we were gonna have Daniel here today, but between time differences and um, technology, you know, dial up that he's still dealing with. He's been fantastic, really great, sending us awesome pictures, wonderful stories about um, people who have walked the trail to include Catherine, AKA BB, um, you know, 
unfortunately we can't have him here today, but you'll see videos of him throughout the challenge. Oh, he took friends of mine up two years ago. Oh, wow. Uh, looks like we have another question about walk with a dog um, virtually. So you guys all know we're doing this for two weeks. This is a two week challenge. It's a unique thing that we're doing, um, but walk with a doc is offered every Saturday morning. Um, if it's not in your community or your community is not meeting because of COVID right now, you can tune in to our website. Um, you can shoot me an email or post a question on Facebook, um, whatever the case is, and I'll, I'll point you in the right direction. But every Saturday morning, uh, we feature one of our doctors. They give a short talk on a health topic um, and then encourage everyone to go out and walk for the day. Uh, we, it looks like we have another question. This is a tech related one. I wanna answer it while everyone's still here um, with regard to logging your steps. So there is an app where you can log your steps but it won't automatically log them for you. So you'll have to track your steps or your activity in, in some fashion. If you do an hour's worth of yard work, you have to log that by going to the Racery website or going to the app. It has a place where you can log yard work. Um, Unfortunately, it doesn't automatically upload for you. Uh, uh, what, what time is that Saturday talk? Uh, thank you for asking. It's every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when it goes live, um, but you can, they're all archived, so you can view them anytime that you want. Okay, that's All right, if no other questions, David, can you send us off with a joke and we'll see you guys on the trail? Joke. Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Pippa. Pippa who? I can't tell you. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, good, somebody got it, I love it. All right, everybody, you look so good. Thank you for being here with us this morning. Have fun getting in those miles, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Rachel. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> have a great day. Thank you, David. David, stay safe and have a good walk. You too. Bye, Dr. Kumar. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Thank you. It's Dr. True. Leave, leave the meeting. Hey, I was just about, oops, hold on. Let me get it on my, I was just about to call you. How are you? Oh, wait a minute, it's not on my headset yet. Hi, John and Joyce, how are you guys? We're doing fine, how are yeah, you? I can hear you, but now I can't see you anymore. Where'd you go? I don't. Oh, oh, I yeah. can see you now. Yeah. He's, he's a novice. Oh, so <laughs> me too. Me too. Um, 